Okay, so what I've got here, this is a blue rabbit. She is um, one of our grand champions, retired, and she's just a sweetheart, so I wanted to get her out because she's so much fun to work with. She is a mini lot, and she is a blue rabbit, okay? She's blue. There's, there's no white on her anywhere. Um, and so based on what we've learned thus far when we're talking about blue, is we know that that blue is a self, okay? And we know that blue, uh, because it is a self... Hi, sweetie. Yes, I know. You want to help. Because it is a self, it has two copies of the self gene, which is two lowercase a's. We also know that blue is a dilute of black, which we'll cover the dilute in the next section, but we know that blue is the dilute of black. Okay, so we know she's, she's based off of a black rabbit. We don't know what her second copy is, so we'll put an underscore there. Now here's where we're talking about C as full color. Because there's, there's no other shading on her, we don't, I mean, she obviously doesn't have any, any um, orange or anything on her, but as a self, she's a blue self, okay? Uh, her, you know, we also can look at her and say, well, there's no white on her, so she's not, she's not a ruby-eyed white. We can see that the, the color has not been moved to the points at all, so we know she's not Himalayan. Really, our only option in this case is to uh, put her down as a full color C, okay? Now, we know that she's, we don't know what that second gene is or that second allele is by looking at her. We wouldn't be able to do that until we did a test breeding. And so for the blue rabbit here that we have at the moment, that is her genotype. Okay, let me grab you a, the next one. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if this was a good idea or not. I got another one. Uh, this is Eddie Wabbit. He is a chinchilla Netherland dwarf. And, you know, when we've looked at chestnuts in the, in previously, we've seen the kind of orange color behind the, the head and the orange is shading through the body, which is normal. Now, Eddie, he's, he's a little high-strung guy. He, he's one of our breeders. And what you can see here is the orange has been removed, okay? We also know from our previous lessons in talking about uh, determining whether their, what their pattern is. You can easily see that there's rings there, which means he's a goody. And so we know based off of that information, and we know he's a chinchilla, so we're just going to write over here a chinchilla and so let's do his genotype we know that he's a goody because we saw those agouti rings now since agouti is the most dominant allele at the a locus we don't know what his second second allele is just by looking at him okay so we're just going to draw an underscore now we know he's black he's based off of a black color okay uh, chocolate will, will have a distinct different color than that so we know he is black based and this is where it gets interesting okay so when we're talking about chinchilla we're talking about uh, the most dominant allele okay we don't know what that second one is I could figure it based off of his pedigree or at least an idea, but the only way to be guarantee is to, to do it off of a of, of breed test. But he's, he's a, a great example of, of what happens when we're talking about the chinchilla gene, the CCHD, uh, being responsible here. Uh, you know, if we didn't have, if he, if he was a full color C, he would be a chestnut, okay? The only thing that's different here between a chestnut and, and this guy is that CCHD is his most dominant gene at that locus point.
okay? I know, dig it ups, dig it ups. So let me grab an, a, uh, the next one here for shaded and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so I went and grabbed a Holland Lop this time. So we've had Mini Lop, we've had Netherland Dwarf. This is a Holland Lop and he is Siamese Sable. Uh, Siamese Sable is really a pretty color. It's one of our favorite colors to work in. Um, they have a dark face, dark ears, dark feet. Oop, don't fall off the thing. There he goes. I know. But he is a sweetheart. So much fun to, to work in this color. I love working in shadeds and, and really all of our breeds. Um, but Siamese Sable... Uh, Siamese Sable is a self-based uh, pattern, okay? Um, this, this particular color here is, um, is, going to be is going to be created by this shaded gene that we talked about just a moment ago. And so when we write his genotype, we know he's a self-based color. And we obviously can tell, look at him and see that he's, he is black based. We don't know what that second gene is. Okay. And for us to be able to create this color, there's, there's a few other things that happen further down the, the string. But we're just talking about A through C right now. And so his most dominant allele that he can have at C is going to be CCH. L. And we don't know what that second gene it could be it could be another it could it could be either CH or C. And the reason we know that it's not two copies of CCHL is because the color seal is created by two copies of CCHL. You must have two copies of CCHL at the C locus point to get seal. And he's obviously not seal, okay? Uh, he is obviously Siamese sable. Okay, so if you can kind of envision, are you going to come help? Okay, um, if you can kind of envision this guy uh, having a full white body. Here, you're on my thing. I know. If you can imagine with a full white body, but all that black remaining on the feet and on the ears. And on his face, that would be a black point. Okay, uh, that's been is created by using this Himalayan allele. And I'll do the genotype on him. Let me get him put up, and then I will will do the genotype for that. Okay, I'm back with you. So we had the Siamese sable out, and we talked about him and. Um, so imagine that Siamese sable with a pure white body except for the black that's on his ears, face, and on his feet. And that is a black point. You can look that up online. There's tons of pictures out there of a black point rabbit. In a Holland Lop, it's going to be a little bit harder to find, but you might, you'll be able, easily find it in some of the other breeds such as um, Netherland Dwarfs, for instance. And I, I have one, but I'm, I'm not going to pull her out because she's due to Kindle like literally every, any day now. So um, I'm just going to let her be right now. But if we were going to do a, a black point or a pointed black, and you can hear it that way. I like to call it black point, blue point. It's easier for me. Um, it is a self-based rabbit, which is obviously going to be our two lowercase a's. Okay, and it is black based, obviously. A blue point is the dilute of black point, the same as a blue is dilute of black. But we'll, we'll get into dilute later, but we know that it's black based. And the only thing different that's going to happen at this locus point is that CH is going to be the most dominant allele. It can have double CH, and you'll still get black point. Unlike Siamese Sable, where if you had two CCHLs at this point, you would have a color called Seal. Um, 
but if with only one copy present, it's signed me Sable. Okay. Uh, there's other colors that can contain this, but again, we're not going to know this. We're not only talking about A through C, and I'm just providing some examples of what the genotypes would would be A through C for these particular colors. Okay. As we continue on, we'll we'll add on to this. Okay, when we get to the D and the E locus points, and we'll show you the differences between all those as well. Let me grab a ruby-eyed white. That is our next one, and it's going to be a little bit of different. And I'm going to show you just how different in just a moment. Okay, so this is Vega. She is a Netherland Dwarf, ruby-eyed white, okay? Um, she is an absolute sweetheart, and I can't wait to have some kiddos from her, uh, which we'll be getting sometime soon. And if you'll notice, there is no color on her. Uh, she's, she's pure white, and she has the red eyes. Him, Himalayans will also have that, that reddish colored eye in most cases, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, what we would, how we would write her genotype, okay? So for this particular genotype, like we had said earlier, the only way that you can get... Hi, Vega. Uh, the only way that you get these, this, this color to present is with two copies of the lowercase c allele. Now, remember, when you have two copies of this lowercase c allele, it does not matter what happens up here. It will be a red-eyed white, or a ruby-eyed white, or a roux, however you want it, whatever you want to call it. But it's not going to show anything else. And so, unless you have a pedigree, and without any kind, and with, unless you have some abilities to be able to breed test your roux, then you're not going to know what its genetic string is completely. It's not that it doesn't exist; it just means that uh, it's not seen. Okay, because these two copies of the C, the lowercase C mask the rabbit in white and it hides everything else at every other locus point. So the way we would write her genetic string is we would just write a dash dash cc and then of course everything else is a dash. The whole string is a dash. The only thing that we know for certain about her is that she contains two copies of ruby-eyed white and that's the way we get ruby-eyed white to present. In the next segment we're going to talk about a couple of things about this locus point including ruby-eyed whites that you need to consider and we'll do that in part three.